hot Mavs beat the red hot Rockets. I may, I may, not going to do it yet because they're still like the 12 seed, have to start forming an apology to the Rockets, whose offseason decisions I made fun of, going to throw money at Dylan Brooks, Fred Van Vliet. Uh, but they had won 11 in a row. I'm not going to apologize yet because they're not a playoff team. Uh, but they were playing the best basketball in the league. And Luka Doncic goes in and drops 47, 12, and 7 right on him. He hit nine threes. The ridiculous underhand. Actually, Pepe, let's go ahead and play the Rockets announcers, knowing what was eventually coming from 77. He's got 35 now. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You no. got to go. He's, he's, no. And this is about no. his right. <laughs> no, 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 no. And no, no, that no. wasn't even close to his best trick shot of the day as all the uh, TV shows are playing him throwing it off the, the billboard, throwing it off the scoreboard at the top of the arena and hitting I it. I mean, it's, it's so insane. First of all, like, the skill of the modern-day NBA player is, is ridiculous anyway. Like, these guys just, they, they, there's never a basketball not in their hands. It's always in there. But then him on his own... He's a freak. He's a unit. Like, nothing about Luka outside of the fact that he's, like, you know, his size. I mean, he doesn't scream super athlete, right? He doesn't have this, like, Adonis figure. The guy is just a systematic savage. That's all he is. He's, I, I mean, look, and yesterday, even, so, like, one of my buddies texted me a hot take uh -oh. and said, best offensive guard since Michael. And I was like, okay, Kobe. Okay, Kobe, but that is how other people think into this cat. Mm. I mean, he's a, he he is special. I, I mean, we're oh, gonna yeah. we're gonna talk about him as like better than Dirk. We knew this already. We knew this already. His career's already got off to a better start than Dirk. Obviously, he doesn't have a championship. Yeah, and Dirk at this stage, he may never be. He'll probably hmm. never be. He'll never be as loved in DFW as Dirk. Um, and some people will always just have Dirk's. Hallmark moment as the number one, no matter what Luca does. But just in terms of like a player, you take Luka Doncic over Dirk Nowitzki if you're drafting. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's not a slight to no. Dirk. Dirk was special. Dirk no. helped kind of change Dirk the keeps, modern NBA. He keeps moving up the all-time list of players and power forwards. Really, yeah, he does. I mean, I never thought we'd be having a Dirk Carl Malone discussion. Keep your joke to yourself. Uh, you know, Dirk Charles Barkley and these guys. But anyway, the point of the whole thing is Luka Doncic, I believe, is going to win the MVP now. It's going to be real. The way they're closing the season, it's going to be really hard to hold him off. Um, because, I mean, they're what? Since uh, they're like 18 and 6 in their last 24. Uh, and, I mean, that's that shouldn't be that, you know, that, yeah. that shouldn't be that big a surprise when you consider the fact that, you know, Kyrie has played. That's, like, been the entire stretch where Kyrie's played consecutively. Kyrie, Luka together offensively. Dante Exum coming around like he has. The bigs playing the way that they are. P.J. Washington finally starting to hit some threes after he's been playing really strong defense since he got here. If, if you've got these centers playing at the level that they are, if you've got Exum and then P.J. Washington knocking down threes, they're going to be really tough for anybody to beat. Yeah. Even the best teams in the league are going to have trouble with them like that. They are. Now, you know, the, the, they got to get out of the five. No five seeds ever won the title. Uh, so they, they're in the five right now. You got to get out of that. You got to get in the four. Uh, you got one. You got one team. One four seeds. One. What's the minimal seed? Uh, so a six is one one time. No, that but was... what's the minimal seed that they should be able to get for him to win it? What do you mean, like his, history? No, no, just like like what's that? You say they can't win from the five. So can they win from the four? No, 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 no. The... I'm sorry. No. Let me clarify. What seed minimum do you think the Mavs could be? Like lowest seed for Luca to win the MVP. Oh, oh, um, because this whole five versus six is starting to annoy me a little bit. It's Jokic, like, Jokic won it from the six seed. Yeah, his, his first MVP was six seed. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you can win it from just about anywhere now. Like, um, see, voters Man. have stopped doing the "Hey, how good your team is" kind of thing. Um, I think he's yeah, gonna win it. He's got a, he's got a he's got a real chance. So he like the markets have shifted. A lot of the betting markets have shifted to where he's cleared number two right now, um, and that it's like right behind Jokic. But it's this steady climb that over the course of this last you know what eight games that they have left, 
like I, I mean the more that they play they're, they're going to we had talked about hey there's kind of an outside shot at it they're gonna they're likely gonna hit 50 wins they're they're yeah. 45 mm -hmm. and 29 and they're gonna go five and three down the stretch they're likely gonna hit it and if you're a 50 win team he gets to the top half of the seeds in the west which is looking like more and more attainable i think it's really tough to keep him off all right so here's this is mgm bet mgm partner of the bet ql network well Jokic is, this is as of uh, like four days ago. Jokic is minus 700 to win the MVP. Minus 700. Wow. So you got to bet $700 to win 100. Luka is second at five to one. Meaning if you bet 100 bucks, you win 500. And then the next highest is uh, Shea at 25 to one. So it's a two horse race, really a one horse race. Which Luka was. Fourth? Further back, yeah. Two weeks ago, so I mean he's hard charging, dude. But Joker's putting up like the same numbers or a little bit better than when he won the MVPs. He has like one less rebound, but like one more assist than some of the other years. Averaging twenty six this year, the other years he scored twenty seven and twenty six a game. Because he's not going against Derek Lively every night. The old Jokic stopper. I think they're going to give it to Luka just out of newness. Newness uh, might. Talk about that coach of the year. MVP. I mean, because like you can make a case Joker should have won last year over Embiid. He didn't. He should have. He, he had a better year. Um, But they didn't want to give it to somebody three years in a row. Now you'd be in a situation where you give it to somebody four years in a row if they had won it last year. Like KG tweeted uh, Luka's the MVP. Russell Westbrook, Joker, and Wilt each won the NBA MVP the year they led their teams in most games, leading in points, rebounds, and assists. I think he's going to win the MVP. Hopefully, y'all went and got in a value bet a weeks and weeks and maybe some months ago. I mean, if it's it still was, a decent value at 5-1. to one. It is. It's still pretty pretty good. I mean, it's not great, yeah. but comparatively speaking, when you got somebody who's minus 700 and you, we think it's uh, it's wrong, I think it's decent value. 214 said they put down uh, 320 at plus 525, so it pays 2000